Welcome to one cup on tea. As you can gather from the sound of my voice that I'm not in the whole of my health. And um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. It's great to be with you on this, our last on tea of 2022. And I hope that this finds you well and in good form. When we get to the last, the end of the year, we, we reflect on the year that has been and ponder what we could have done differently maybe or what changes we might have made or whatever and I know that you've heard me saying stuff like this before but when I come to the end of this year specifically this year 2022 I look back over the year that I've had it has been absolutely amazing that's all I can say absolutely amazing and it's no wonder in some ways that the wheels have fallen off the wagon at the end of the year and that I'm a collapsed heap because when I look back at what we've been doing and the excitement and all that God has been at it has been amazing and that's what I want to talk about more is about what God has been at not about what I've been at and so when I look back at 2022 you know one of the scriptures that the Lord gave me before I embarked in ministry was that I was to look to the nations and watch for he was going to do something in my day that had I been told about it, I wouldn't have believed it. When I look back at 22, that's the kind of year it's been. Where God has just been doing amazing work. I shared there a few weeks back about where John the Baptist was in prison and he asked the question, you know, are you the one to come? Or should we expect someone else? And the person got back to me and said that Nigel, they actually reckoned it wasn't that John the Baptist was asking the question on his behalf, but he was asking it on behalf of his disciples to show them that he was indeed the person that he was. I think that's an interesting point, one I hadn't looked at before. And when I look back at 2022, what I want to do is I want to encourage you to let you know that just as Jesus was able to go and tell the disciples of the different things that he was doing proving that he was the Messiah and the one that was to come so I can sit here and chat with you and share with you about what it is that the Lord has been doing in 2022 that is only confirmation and affirmation of who he is, that he is still the same yesterday, today and forever. So often as Christians, we are all guilty of it, of making God small and reducing God to a box. And I'm not talking about in regard to doctrine, I'm talking about in regard to God's capabilities. That we don't genuinely believe that God is the God of the impossible. That God is able to do much more than we can ask or imagine or think. That God is the one who can actually go and have a little virgin girl become pregnant with his child. You're going to say, but I haven't seen anything like that today. I would say, but the thing is you have. You just haven't realized you've seen it. And when I look back at this year, I've seen people who've been set free from bondage and addiction. I've seen people end up that, that their lives with the Lord have been turned around. I've seen people, and in an instant where we've just been praying, that we see their faces going from being downcast and burdened to being filled with radiance and joy. And you see the love of God just spilling out into people's lives. I've seen God come. And step into a situation where we were told there was never going to be a way. That it was impossible. It was not going to happen. That these are things that have never happened in years. God has been there. God has done it. I've seen the Lord do amazing things in the lives of those in in our churches. And the journey that we've all been on in this last 12 months has been absolutely amazing. It might not be star stellar stuff, but still God at work, moving all of us into a deeper, more personal place with Him.
See, one of the scriptures that seems to have been always being continuously thrown at me is the one that goes and says, Lord, did we not do this in your name? And did we not do that in your name? And then the person turns around, the Lord turns around and goes and says, get away from me, I never knew you. I don't know why people kept sending me that scripture or like to keep sending me that scripture. Well, the thing is that I'm not saying I did any of those things. I'm saying the Lord did it. God is the one who is at work moving and ministering in the hearts of people. Now, when you look back over your year, what miracle has God given you? One of those very miracles in and of itself is that you're actually listening to this on Cup and Tea and enjoying a brew with me. God is there with us. And the adventure is absolutely amazing. When I come to the end of each given year, I ask myself a question. And the question is, can I go and die happy? Can I go and die happy? That if I was to die right now, I know I'm in an okay place. And... Apart from anything that has to do with my salvation, which of course is the only way that one can be in an okay place with the Lord, is to know him as your personal Lord and Saviour. When I look back over the year that I've had, I'm like, no, I know I've given the Lord the best I could give out of this year. Did I make mistakes? Absolutely. You know, by anyone who hadn't accomplished anything made mistakes. If you're going to try to do stuff without making mistakes, give up. In fact, that's what they do is they give up. So it's not about mistakes. But when I look back over this year, can I say that there was one more ounce of this last 12 months that I could give Jesus? I don't think so. I don't think so. Are there areas that I could improve on in regard to some of the areas in my own life? Absolutely. There's always room for improvement. There's always room for growth. And that's the thing that really challenges me moving forward. I look back at the year that I've had with the Lord, watched what the Lord's been doing, as I said, in people's lives, watched how the Lord has answered prayer, watched how the Lord has just been moving and ministering in, the, in this Midlands region, watching just wonders of what is taking place and is there room for improvement yeah yes there is and one of the big things that really is striking me more and more on that regard is how much do we actually really love Jesus and so that's where I see myself going I want to be someone I'm known for my love of Christ I'm known as a person who follows Christ. I'm known as a person who is walking with Christ. I'm known as a person who is serving Christ. I'm known as really being his disciple. It's not about my effort. It's about me getting to know Jesus more. You see, when we get to know who Jesus is, it's then that we love him. We love him because he first loved us. But we need to understand that love, dig into that love. And so for me, even though I come to the end of 2022 shattered, I look forward to 2023 knowing it's going to be yet another wonderful adventure getting to know my Jesus. And I hope that you can say the same. Folks, thank you so much for joining me week on week for our Cup on Tea. I've been blessed by it. And I pray that you've been blessed by it. And I look forward to chatting to you in the new year. The Lord bless you. <laughs>